Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at inputs in Python. Alright, let's get going. So here's an example of computer asking questions. You might have done this before, this is in Scratch. Here's what it looks like in Python. The computer's asking questions and I'm inputting things to the keyboard. And this computer's output depends on my input. Here's the formula for the input. I have the command which is input. The input needs to have parentheses. And inside the parentheses it's going to be the question that I'm asking. I need to save all of this to a variable so the order matters. It's going to be variable equals input parentheses and then the question is inside the parentheses. So here it is in action. The computer is asking the user give me your name and saving that to a variable name and then it's printing it out. The input is just like the print and that it prints out exactly what is inside that quotation marks. So if inside the input, inside the quotation, there's no space at the end. When it asks the question, there's also no space at the end. Usually people like to put that space in there, so I'll do that right now. And when I ask the question, it has the space. Okay, so one more time, I'm going to ask, give me your friend's name, and I'm going to save that to a variable name2. So I'm going to print out the result, your friend name is plus name2. I'm not so much showing how input works, rather I'm really showing once more how print and variables and string concatenation works. I'm printing out the exact string your friend name is, and I have a space there, so my spacing looks good, and I'm adding that to the string name2. So it prints out your friend name is Ezra. The one last thing I want to point out here is anything that comes out of input is a string. It does not matter if I type in a number. So let me show you here. Give me number. I'll type in 3. So the question is, is this the integer 3? Is this the string 3? And when I print out the type of my variable number, it says string. So hopefully this shows it very, very clearly. Anything that comes from input is a string. And you might wonder, well, then how am I supposed to do math? And that's a very good question. We'll get to that later. But for now, just know that anything that comes from input is a string. All right, so here are some common mistakes. The first concept you want to understand is that if you want a space, be sure to put that space into the quotations. So, so what I'm showing here is something I see sometimes. I have no space in the question, so there's no space in the question here. So I put a space when I answer it. And there's a space in my print. And because of that, I end up with two spaces in my output. What the heck? This is one of those things that happens if you don't follow the basic rule. If you want a space, put the space in the quotations and nowhere else. The second super, super common mistake I see is this. I have an input, and it's not being saved to a variable. So what's going on here? If I don't save the input to a variable, the computer will take the answer, and it'll throw it in the trash. For now, just remember, when you ask a question, save the results of that input to a variable. Then every so often I see some really goofy stuff. If you want to ask a question, be sure to use input. If it's not a print, use the input. All right, there are two quick videos associated with inputs. Pause the video and give it a go. I promise they're not too hard. But if you're here because you're stuck, I'm going to go over the solutions right now. So on the first one, we want the computer to ask for a favorite fruit and save it to a variable fruit. We know that we're asking questions. We're looking for input, and we're going to save it to a variable fruit. So that means fruit equals input, and inside the parentheses, we have a quotations, give me your favorite fruit. It doesn't really matter what question you ask there. I try it out, and it works. Okay, so the next thing is print statement. This is print your favorite fruit plus that fruit variable. This isn't really about inputs. It's more about knowing how concatenation works. We print out the string, hard-coded string, inside quotation marks, plus the variable. And when I run it, that works. It prints out the hard-coded string plus the variable. Remember, we want to put quotation, that space inside the quotation marks. So favorite fruit is space quotation. All right, for this next one, debugging. What's wrong with this? For all these debugging labs, you should run it first. You'll see what the error is. It says subject is not defined. So this is a classic error. What we're not doing here is we're not saving the input to a variable. So when I save it to subject, I'm saving it to the variable subject. Now subject is defined and the program works. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.